One of our favorite peoples here, Laura Dellis, comedy star. Comedy! She's great. I love her. Rising I'm so glad. Chicago star, very Dellis Holidays, coming up on Sunday, <laughs> December 17th at her home base, Davenport's Piano Bar and Cabaret. How do we get tickets? We get tickets on lauradellis.com. That's L A U R A D E L L I S.com. Two L's. And this is your Christmas special. Well, it's not just Christmas, Steve. It's all the holidays of the year Ugh. in one night. So, so if you don't like Christmas, no no problem. Well, let me go back you to the day. Covered. Day. Let's see, January. You got President's Day in there? Um, it's honored. <laughs> MLK <laughs> it Day. Is yeah. It is remembered. It is remembered. It is honored. Groundhog Day? It is talked about. St. Patrick's Day? Yes. Full of, uh, Memorial Day? It is Flag remembered. Day. It is talked about. Fourth of July? Mm, uh, Arbor Day. Maybe. Um, <laughs> Labor Day. going to add it in later. Uh, Labor Day? Yeah. Sure. Halloween? Yep. Thanksgiving? Mm-hmm. Uh, Hanukkah and Christmas? Yeah, baby. Okay. But you forgot Easter. Yeah, and did. Easter. Easter, Easter has a great I mashup. Did. And I tell you, uh, amongst us Christians, Easter's a big one. So i got some explaining <laughs> I to do. I forgot that. Yeah. Um, well, good. It, it has it's it all. Entertaining as always. It's singing. It's dancing. It's laughing. It's good. It's stand-up. It's it's singing. Exactly. It has it has everything that you could want. It's on a Sunday, too. So it's a little, you know, Christmas is just around the corner. We're all in kind of the holiday mode. Sure. We, we don't want to work anymore. All we want to do is come to Davenport's Piano Bar and Cabaret, <laughs> snuggle up with <laughs> a little mm-hmm. hot cocoa, That's true. and watch me make a fool of myself. Mm-hmm. And what I'll time? Say. Is it just a one show or two? It's one show. It's at 7 o'clock. Mm-hmm. Um, you can or as buy- I like to call it, bedtime. I know. It's, I, I'm like, well, maybe we could get there. I'd love to see it. You I would what, love if you guys could. You know what time somewhere. we're doing uh, my New Year's show this year? Do you know about this? I two, I've two, heard about the New Year's show, two, but I don't know what time. Two o'clock in the afternoon. Two o'clock in the afternoon. <laughs> no, well, that gives you just enough time to get home and go to bed before midnight, right? <laughs> <laughs> You're not quite there yet. Not quite. Mm. Like in uh, double your age and then add some more years, then maybe you'll do a two o'clock show. What What is this other show you're doing? <laughs> Oh, I am. Uh, I do this show at the Annoyance Theater. Um, it's a sketch comedy show. It's called Motorcycle Rocket Chef. Oh yeah! Somebody said it was the best comedy show sh- sketch show in Chicago. Somebody said that. I don't know if they were maybe intoxicated when they were. Do you feel that it in the is? Bar. I feel like it is really solid. Okay, because Nick Gale said it. He's the one that said it. He said oh, it he's the newsman. Uh-huh. Oh, boy, oh, boy. What an endorsement. Um, yeah, it, it. we do a lot of, like, multimedia work. So we do a lot of digital shorts. And then we, of course, have live um, stage sketches as well. Um, the team is really, really solid. And they all have my similar sense of humor. We all just have that, that kind of silliness. So it's it's pretty fun. How many in the ensemble? About eight of us. Okay. And we're moving to the main stage next year, so we're about to get real popular. You're moving on up. And if you've got a kid up. that's a theater major or <clears throat> is interested in Second City and wants to be a sketch star and all those things, do what Laura does. Get up on stage. <laughs> yeah, Get up just on stage. It. Yep. It's the scariest part. The scariest part is just for me, specifically with these shows, or even at The Annoyance, too, it's that moment when they're like, and ladies and gentlemen, Davenport's is proud to present. Lord, it's that moment of like, oh my God, I have to go out there right now. And then once you're out there, you're yeah. like, well, it's going to be We're what in. it's going to be. Um, but yeah, yeah that is the scariest. Part, the onstage part's the win. The part that sucks is waiting to go up. Yeah, because you're yeah. just, and you you know it. Once you get in flow. Totally. Yeah, you're yeah. in it. Like I'm running into my room last night. And I'm like, I got this. It's just now it's the lead up. It's this whole week where it's just, it's tickets and I'm trying to really promote it and really sell it and it's just a lot of work i wish i was just famous and that people would just buy tickets <laughs> well you will be and then you still have to come on the show of course well, i'm never going to stop you apparently haven't seen the first draft for my life story it's called kind of famous <laughs> and um i'm still plugging you're uh, still shows. plugging away still on plugging it shows. yeah still plugging shows <laughs> yeah. um you know I'm, I'm lifetime friends with your dad from yes. our minneapolis days our twin cities days and mm-hmm we were texting over the weekend and, and laughing about some 90s pictures and videos that he found of us. Mm. Um, but uh, later today, I'm going to get together with the guys that I do the New Year's Eve show with. Fun. And we're talking about Christmas traditions and things of like that. So give me a Dallas family Christmas thing that you guys did. Um, well, my dad uh, has a Santa suit and he is commissioned yearly um, for one night only. He is Santa. And he gets really hot in the suit. One night only. <laughs> One night only. 
Uh, they can't. He can't see though, because uh, he wears glasses and it gets really hot, so his glasses fog Steam up. up. Yeah. Um, so I play Jingles the Elf, uh-huh. and I have like these little Elton John sunglasses, and it's pretty cool. And I have to help guide him around the America Inn where we do it in the lobby. Oh, that's great! Um, nobody that's... is nobody's aware that we're he coming. Oh, um, he can't see where he's going. Is this like a dare? Like, do the America Inn people know you're doing it? <laughs> nope, or what? They, no, none of the employees ever know. We have to that's go get hilarious. changed in like the locker room for the like the the disease infested pool. Um, and kids are splattering around. Oh, well, that's an and, alleged, but. The way for the lawsuit. Yeah, that's uh, sorry, that's so sorry. Just, that, she wasn't talking about your end. She was talking about a different one. Yeah, no, a yeah, different one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, for all the American ends out there, it's, yeah. it's specifically the one that we went to. Yeah, um, which and I will not America disclose. With a K, it was a totally yes. different. Yeah. It was a totally yeah. different brand. Yeah, yeah. totally different brand. Thank you, Steve. Yeah. Ooh. Um, um, but yeah, but that's fun. When your dad fun. is that kind of fun, that's fun. That's fun. And he really pushes it. And he, there is often no music in the background. So he will bring like a boom box, like an old fashioned boom box and play Christmas music and whatnot, just to fill the atmosphere. And the kids that once were babies are now just teenagers and young adults and they don't want to be there. And they're in their swimsuits a lot of the time uh, too, yeah. which is a bummer. Just hilarious. <laughs> so, hilarious. Do you get to sing? Uh, as Jingles the Elf, mm-hmm. uh, we have we do some acapella, my dad and I. <laughs> um, but it, I I won't say it's my finest what's your, performance. What's your, what's your mother's role in this? Just shaking her head. She just watches from a distance, mm-hmm. takes the pictures. Um, I will say my mother has become just a really um, big character in my shows, and I've created her into something that she's completely not. It's so <laughs> fun because she's so. She really does just watch and observe, and she is silly, but just in a completely different type of way. And I just love teasing her and creating her into, like, the stage mother that never was and, like, smoking cigarettes. She has, like, a New York accent. She doesn't. <laughs> she has nothing. It's not you know, even the, true. It's the not typical even true. Minnesota <laughs> yeah, New York t- accent. Typical St. Paul. Um, <laughs> uh, well, listen, uh, people need to go to the show, and if you don't, um, I'm going to need a note why. Uh, and it needs exactly. to be a family emergency. Exactly. A very like Dallas holiday, D-E-L-L-I-S, very Dallas holiday. It's Sunday, December 17th. Early shout, 7 o'clock. You'll be home by 9.30. Exactly. Thank you. At yes. Davenport's Piano Bar and Cabaret, Sunday, December 17th. Tickets and info again where? Lordells.com. L-A-U-R-A-D-E-L-L-I-S.com.